Hi, this is Veronica with So It Seems. Welcome back to my studio. It has been a few months since I've invited you into my studio. Uh, I think it's been about eight or nine months. The last time I touched base with you, I think was in October, and that is when things got pretty busy around here. I spent a lot of October making costumes, trying to finish one for my son, one for myself. Um, I think I was also doing little bits for my girls for Halloween. Um, and then uh, just trying to recover from that and getting ready for Christmas, uh, different things that were involved with that. You know, it feels so long ago, I don't even remember what I was doing for that. But I do know that uh, I was doing a few uh, projects, uh, things for customers. But the week before Christmas, I got very sick. I had some sort of flu that put me down. And I was sick for a couple of weeks. And then several weeks after that, trying to recover from a cough that just would not leave. Once I was well in January, it took a while to get back into the swing of doing things in the studio. I was doing a few projects. There were different life issues that had come up. Nothing major, but just things that took a lot of time and a lot of mental capacity. I was working also on a few personal projects, got those kind of things done but in all of that just never really had the time or the energy to create videos about what I was doing I honestly didn't think that they were uh, video worthy I mean anything can be video worthy <laughs> look at look at everything on YouTube but regardless I am now back and ready to get some videos underway one of the big projects that I am working on is a Dear Jane quilt. My personal quilt, I'm calling it the O Veronica, because as I've been working on it, I've been thinking, O oh, Veronica, what have you gotten yourself into? But I am making all of those Dear Jane blocks, and my project is to record each one as I'm making them so that everyone can have an have access to each block with different tips or techniques or just a walkthrough of how I put my block together. Now with mine, I am doing all of mine by hand because that's how I had started it years ago. But that doesn't mean everyone has to do it by hand. Many people do it by machine. Most people actually make their blocks by machine. But my goal is to release a video uh, highlighting one particular block each week. I don't know how consistent that will be just because of business and different things that will come up. Speaking of business, I am in the process of making three bookcase quilts for one customer. Things got a little delayed in the last month. I have not progressed on those like I would like to. So this month I will be trying to focus very hard on getting those quilts finished so that I can get them mailed um, in a timely manner. The customer did request them before Christmas, but I hope to be able to get them done well before then. My original goal was in August. Uh, that gives me two months to make three quilts. I don't know if that will be able to happen, but I will give it a good college effort. I'm also doing some little alterations here and there. Uh, nothing major. Um, another big project that I want to work on is a quilt for my son's graduation. I saw this quilt online, saw an image of it. It's called the Quilt Vortex, I believe. And I will see if I can try to get a photo of it up here. But the quilt has this fantastic spiral in the center with chess pieces uh, appliqued around the border. I was immediately drawn in and I know this is something that my son would really enjoy. So 
my goal is to try to get this done in time for his graduation. Since he's homeschooled, um, we can do graduation anytime we want, but I don't want to make it too late in the fall. So I'm looking at the second weekend in September. Now that's a lot to do between now, which is July 3rd, until September 9th, I believe that date is. That's a total of four pretty substantial quilts and Dear Jane blocks in the middle of that. <laughs> so as you can see, it's going to be very busy in this studio. I won't be recording anything regarding the bookcase quilts, but I am hoping to record the process as I make the chess quilt. We'll see how that goes. It could end up being just so involved that I just have to get it done and I won't be able to record everything that I want to, but that is my hope and my goal. Now I know it's been a while and I'm sure I've talked about projects in the past and then haven't talked about them again. If you have any uh, updates that you are really hoping to hear about or any questions, as always, you can always comment below in the comment section, or you can send me an email at soitseemscreations at outlook.com. If you like this video, you can give it a big old thumbs up. You can also subscribe so you know when I have a new video coming up. And I do hope to be more consistent in here. Even though I am stitching and sewing away, um, I'm not always letting you know what I'm up to. So if you have any questions, of course, if you have any suggestions, let me know. This is Veronica with So It Seems. And remember, keep stitching.